Good afternoon, this is Jeff with Sewer Tech Northwest. Today we're at 531 Charmin Street here in Oregon City. Uh, just got done doing some root cutting to allow the camera to get all the way down line. We've made it out here. In total, we've run the camera to 200 feet. I know it says 196, but we're actually 200 feet out. Um, and where we finally located the camera, we've got a picture of it. There are two houses behind this home that are within view. It's the house that cuts off to the back left corner. It's a white home with a brick front. I, I, I think the address number is 219. Anyhow, we're in the middle of their driveway currently. What was it? 210. 210. Um, it, and that's part of the root system there. That's that's a root ball that broke loose. As you can see, it's rolling down the line. Um, anyhow, we're underneath that neighbor's driveway currently, and based on where the manhole is out in the street there, we're roughly 15 feet shy of the main, where we stop at 200 feet. You know, and without a secondary clean out or a, a much larger commercial camera, you're not gonna be able to get all the way there. It's it's a roughly 215 foot sewer line. It's It's a beast. And we're leaving some water running here right now. The, the line is so dang long to drag the camera out dry would be extremely hard on it. It's a lot of friction. So anyway, beyond that, we'll, we'll check everything out here as we come back. We were able to get through the root mass, which is one of the largest root, root intrusions I have ever seen. It is rather invasive. But all this water here is, this is flowing water. When we first ran the camera out through this line, the line has got great slope and grade to it all the way down. The hillside provides all the slope for it. By the time you get to the street, you're only at about four feet deep. Normally a line that's at 200 feet, you'd be somewhere around 15 feet. So it's kind of a nice thing that the property provides the slope here. If you ever had to do a, a trench style spot repair, it's not a terribly deep line. In fact, back what I was going to say earlier, when we had lighter water running, this whole area here was completely drained out. So just to reiterate that, it's just, none of this stuff here is standing water. And once past those roots there, the line has quite nice flow. And even prior to the roots, the line has great flow. You've got joints in here that technically are compromised. I'm not seeing as many on this side of the root intrusions as I did on the start of it, or on the on the uh, side prior to getting to the roots anyway. Now we lightened up the water flow there a little bit. I can tell in this area here you've got a little bit of standing water. Because right now, all we have running is a sink, but the distance is his from the home at 135 feet. If, you, if you're blocking and backing up from this far, it is 100% because of what went down the line. You create an unreal amount of head pressure if you blocked at 140 feet. And that head pressure is the water weight building up behind the blockage. There is not a speck of debris buildup in that area there. I do not recommend repairs on that spot. And had we turned the water all the way off, it would have probably been about half the amount of standing water that we just saw there, roughly. Again, we're going past some joints here, which again, these technically speaking are compromised. I can see little bits of dirt coming through them. Flow-wise, they're not affecting functionality at this point in time. You know, the concern with joints like that, if you haven't seen the other video, is if, there, if a joint's pulling enough groundwater and dirt through it, it can hydro-erode the support out from underneath the pipe and cause the line to settle. None of that seems to have occurred here. There's that one area with the belly, um, which that's possible what led to that. Most bellies are the result of bad installation or uncompacted ground. Uh, these joints at this point in time, they're, they're doing nothing to affect functionality. Uh, the, only, the only other thing that goes on there when they're somewhat compromised like this is they're a little bit weaker to roots penetrating. But the only spot where we've even seen roots at this point was here in the backyard. And the line skirts past a lot of trees going out to the street and thus far has fared quite well. Considering you have 215 feet of pipe that is surrounded by trees almost the entire way.
And we've got a couple of these little, you can see little pieces of root here. Most of these, I believe, are they're just pieces of root that got cut off and went down line. They don't appear to be penetrating through the sidewall. We're getting a little bit of aggregate exposed here. It's not extreme though. When you get really, really rough aggregate exposed, you'll get roots punching through the sidewall of the pipe. These look like they were deposited on the, on the top of the line here just from running the machine through the line to cut the roots out of the way. All right, I just did some locating out to about 85 feet here. This is right at the fence line, and I put some markings right as the line goes through the fence. And again, I want to reiterate, the line does not travel through the yard of the house that is directly behind this home. It's the one that's kind of kitty corner off through the uh, back left corner of the, the property. I'll certainly get these puppies taken care of. These things were causing a 100% blockage. So that your roots run from here. And I think this camera is zeroed out slightly different than the original. I think on the original one, we're around 50 feet. But I would be pushing out to around 69. I'll try and mark that out in the event just a spot repair is done. We'll just mark some X's bracketing this area in. All right, your, most of your root intrusions here is within about a four foot, five foot span of pipe. This is with the original root that stopped us up here. You get about five feet or so beyond this point, and that's where the root intrusions at this point in time exist. And I, I would say that the, the, you know, if you're gonna do a repair here, the pipe beyond the property line functions very nicely. If I were gonna be doing repairs on this, especially with the size of the trees that are adjacent to this line here, the stuff that I'm the most concerned about is the pipe that's on property, especially the stuff that's within the vicinity of those trees. Uh, everything beyond that, you know, there's joints here and there that I can see are technically speaking compromised, but they're not affecting functionality at this point in time. But I would keep an eye on this sewer line. It's an older concrete line, you know, it's, it's going to age and it's surrounded by a lot of trees. So. Make sure you rescope this about every, I would probably rescope it every one to two years to keep an eye on things. But most of the line has fared very, very well to the tree roots, amazingly well. 